Hey guys, welcome to Fighting Spirit Mania. This is another smattering of game, of game? I guess I can't say games. Done multiple games, but it's smattering of game, this game. Oya, bottom left hand corner as the blue Protoss. You see him in BSL, at least in the top 16, very regularly. Bottom right hand corner, we have Yeyu from OG. OG is one of those clans that, I mean, they're just, they're amazing. Going up against Urk, I guess, so you could look at it as an interclan thing. But I have not seen you ever. So a big question mark in my head as far as if anybody knows anything about you, let me know. I like learning about new players, particularly when they, uh, looks like he's got 600 AP. I'm wondering if this is an alt on another name that is familiar to me. Pylon inside base for both players. Between these two, I'm going to have to favor Oya, just because Oya, I believe, was... I'm trying to think where Oya placed last season of BSL, but Oya is always a contender, is one of the best Protoss outside of Korea, and just seems to be that way generally. It's just a really, really tough opponent for Yeyu. And I guess we'll see. Anything can happen. At the very least, what I know is, at least on one side of this, we're going to see some epic play. After this, by the way, so there was, if you want to see Striker versus, uh, I, was, I think it was Striker Bonneth? There is some good match on the other uh, in round three. The round three match I may end up doing is DeWalt versus Zeki, which could be an incredible matchup. Uh, so that's the one I am currently looking at to do for the round three game. There was also, yeah, I think it was, I think it was Striker Bonneth, and there was another series of matches that I was looking at, but it looks like Veer already uh, beat me to both of those. Looks like we're seeing an assimilator alongside. By the way, and in, considering Fighting Spirit Mania, there's so many games and it is so grueling. It seems silly to double cast. Uh, I mean, maybe I should drop down to... Anyway, point being, don't want to double up on an immense amount of games that are already existent. So check out Veer's channel. He's got uh, a series of games and those should be good matches. It looks like first scout is going to be in Oya's favor. There was an earlier scout for Yeyu. And a initial zealot being built by both players. Thus far, completely mirrored build orders. Pylon alongside Gas to potentially speed up Probe. Yeah, this is looking basically identical. The only difference here being the Probe that is going to get end up in Yeyu's base a little bit earlier for Oya. Which, big scouting advantage. Got to be frustrating. And is he even going to be able to get sneak through? Does manage to sneak that corner. Sometimes Zealots can block that with a decent amount of micro, can pin that probe into the wall and block things. But as a result, Oya is able to get all the information he's looking for. He's got his own Zealot on the corner. He's already building a Dragoon. Now, it is possible that this Dragoon is going to pop out and be able to take care of that probe, at which point Yeyu is going to be in the dark. This He's going to see... So he sees range rolling, which is a good indicator of build order. Probe taking a little bit of free damage from this Zealot. Let's see if he's going to cycle out of this base now. This is when the Dragoon's popping out. And actually, with that little bit of damage, he's not going to survive much more than a shot. Manages to take the one hit, four health left, and is he going to be able to make it? It is this... It's off to the races. The Dragoon in hot pursuit. Run, Probe, run! Does not make it out. Probe on the opposite side looks like it might get taken out by Oya's Dragoon as well. Now it's kind of the similar situation, but dashing... Oh, in the corner! Misfire is not there. Ends up getting taken out. Range upgrading for Oya as well. It looks like he's going to go. So one gate, Dragoon range into Robo. Opposite side, range still building, but it looks like I don't see a robotics facility over here. We're in, and I think there might have been a pause on a... Maybe there... No, no pause on Dragoon. I'm wondering if this is going to just be one gate into expansion. Yeyu pressing forward to get some scouting information. He does have the Zealot advantage. However... The positional advantage, the first shot's going to go... Oh, just dodges out of range. A probe was coming alongside. Oya actually taking a shot on one of his Dragoons as he's in motion. So now Oya being pushed back to his base. Robotics facility a ways off. Keep in mind, I think he did pause a Dragoon to build that. Potentially. I might be wrong on that. But now holding the high ground. But Yeyu looking to push into this. The Zealot gets wiped out. So there is some base damage on that right... And the probe wanted to get in the fight as well. So the probe actually, yeah, being backed out. It looks like there is a natural expansion. So Yeyu, however, getting aggressive, backing Oya to his base. Oya is not going to know necessarily what's going on in the background. Although I think he is fine with that. He's gone two gate behind this. It looks like he is going to open up with an observatory first. 
This is going to put him economically behind. Two additional gates being built. So there's about a, a minute and a half window is, I think, what it is before this all kicks in and ends up being more advantageous for EAU. Probe advantage still currently in Oya's favor. But yeah, things not looking good for Oya in game one. Overall, Yeyu looks like he's got the build order advantage. Robotic support bay is plopping down. We're going to see for you, potentially a shuttle after this, or maybe just the Reaver immediately to play defensively. Keep in mind, Oya is completely in the dark here. Doesn't know necessarily what the build order is oppositionally, and might even wait on the probe to do so. So the Observer going to take the northern route to respect the DTs. Yeyu moving out again with his Dragoons. He needs to be a little bit careful to not overextend. He's going to be moving into enemy territory. The probe is going to see those Dragoons moving forward. He's going to going to have a... So just seeing the five Dragoons is a big indicator that it was more expansion. So now Oya, opting to be aggressive, able to take one Dragoon out very easily. A second Dragoon going to get popped. And Yeyu now in full retreat. He's going to have to rely on the superior gateway count to stay alive at this stage of the match. The Observer wandering in sees the natural expansion. And that is a trigger for Oya... Potentially to get aggressive, although the closer reinforcement points that probes coming off the line even to try to defend this. One probe down, two probes down. However, the Dragoons now marching in. And Oya, is he going to stick and just go for an exchange? Doing a bit of damage. Now his Dragoons are in retreat. He does have a reinforcement point nearby. And probes getting a little bit feisty. They need to get back to home base. Re-engaging. With superior numbers and also with the misfire rate underneath the tree. That's a wonderful aspect of fighting spirit we haven't seen actually in a lot of the matches thus far is kind of the tree mechanics. So Oya walking this back, getting what exchanges. He's left two Dragoons very, very weak. He's forced some probes off the line, which has caused Yeyu to be a little bit, uh, take a bit of an economic hit. Expansion is building. The Reaver is there. Shuttle also in the air. So now we've got a Reaver with... Seven Dragoons that might be able to poke at this front door. This is going to be three gateways of production behind this. A robotics facility with a counter reaver is a ways off. And if Oya plays it just right, which I don't think is this, he's going up into a superior Dragoon army. However, it is on the bridge where the reaver can get shots into grouped up Dragoons. The first four Dragoons take a huge hit, really softening them up. And now Oya... Looking to breach Yeyu on the natural. A pylon dropped to try to distract. It is distracting some initial Dragoon fire. However, not for long. And Yeyu is just bleeding Dragoons. And Oya focus firing everything. Probes again coming off the line, which is not what you want to do with a Reaver on the ground. And there's G wow, GG from Yeyu. And Oya, top to bottom, just the micromanagement and everything. It just shows you why he ends up in the top league or the top echelon the top echelon of bsl season after season hope you guys enjoyed it good to see him in top form thanks for listening